barang ngumpul jalan tadi ambil satu ini dong taman semua mm -hmm. oh iya Bagun teh, teh, teh. Ini bok siapa? Bok bagun dok. Oh bagun kuat. Yang belakang kalau dia nyalain kayaknya. Lebih fokus ke ini, makan ini. Bagus, bagus, bagus ya? Apa gelang? Ya. Hah? Enggak. Enggak, bagus. Bagus. Kalau gue takut tuh sini ya. Bagus. Bagus kan ini? Bagus ya. Takutnya mendung kan gua. Nanti mendung kok. Masih eh, eh. masih 6 6 menit. Oh iya. Hmm. Tinggal menit ya. Hmm? Ini jamnya? Sudah oh, 54. Itu salah itu jamnya. Enggak 54. Iya 54. Sudah berarti kamu lebih ya. Maka telat ya. Baru telat. Baru mulai kalau ini tuh ayam lain. Oh ini ya ada ini ada ada delay-nya. Ada delay-nya. Delay Lu mulai itu pasang gambar. Iya, ada delay. Kali Pak ngomong dulu kali Pak. Iya, hmm? Pak. Nang aja, aku lu yang enggak bisa. <laughs> enggak maksudnya. <laughs> ini ini yang menunggu udah banyak, Pak. Jadi nah, kan biasa. Kan kalau di bioskop kan yang penonton yeah, yeah, yeah. dulu kan. <laughs> Duduknya harus sama ya, Pak. Iya. Pak, jam 2. Duduknya harus sama ya. Enggak uh, boleh lihat yang ini. Jam 2 jam 2. Ya. <laughs> <laughs> Padahal ini masih karena apa nahan kencing. Bonsai <laughs> Hanoi udah paling duluan. <laughs> Thailand masih ya. Iya, masuknya masih ada. 30. 32. Tuh. KSBJ itu apa? Uh, ini Jember, eh oh. apa? Iya, Jember, 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 Jember. Oh, ya salam salam dulu aja, ya. Ini yang bagian ngomong salam salam dulu. Ngomong, ya. Iya, yang kayak Joskom kan ada iya. siklanya dulu yang. Iya <laughs> lah, benar tuh. Oke. Halo, jadi oce hello. Dilainya lama, 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 Dan, dan tidak ada beli kuota katanya itu 5G di sana sudah tidak ada beli kuota itu. Iya. Jadi beli perangkat, beli perangkat 
Iya, pakai berapa pakai motor lagi. Apa? Apa? Speaker Buat musiknya lah. Biar enak pas. Ada ada situ. Oh. 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 Karena dia yang udah, jadi misalkan pakai ini. Dia ke bawah amin dulu. Kalau pakai bawah ini lagi. Siap, Pak. Siap, Pak. Siap, Pak. Siap, Pak. Memang rejatnya ada nggak di dalamnya tuh? Ada, Pak. Bapaknya nggak ada, nggak hilang. Tiba-tiba dia ngeluarin senjata rahasia lagi. Kelakon. Tapi itu nggak bisa nangkep piaraan saya. Apa, Pak? Ya kan bisa ditangkap karena kamera itu. Oh iya, oh iya yang terlupa ya. Oh itu, itu mamet mamet deh pak rusak langsungnya. Bucuk, bucuk ni. Tidak. Ya lima sembilan pak. Sudah pak, mulai. Ya, Mr. Sanjay, what's on? Iya, Mr. Sanjay, temannya Pak Robert, iya. teman manjat gunung Himalaya. Uh. Itu lagi mungkin di rencana mau ke... Kemana? Mau ke... Apa? Ke Yitan. Kuotanya di belakang. Udah, Pak. Kok saya begini tadi? Ini kan masih belum mulai. Oh, mulai maju belum? Mau mau dimulai? Kalau saya nyambil tidur tidur itu masih pohon doang orang udah lah. Dah bang mulai. Kalau mau berita kalian berkeliaran dulu. Hi everyone, good afternoon. I'm Robert Stephen from Indonesia. Selamat siang teman-teman semua. Saya Robert dari Indonesia, ya sudah tahu dari Indonesia. Selamat siang semuanya. Sekarang kita berada di studio Kosti di Depok. We are now at the studio of Kosti Indonesian Bonsai Artist Community. And as you may know that during this October, there are a lot of demo on Warbeck page versus his concert. Uh, with the uh, International Bonsai Art Fest and the Warbeck Congress uh, uh, Festival. Due to the pandemic, uh, we cannot do it uh, internationally so that uh, we do all this uh, different program online and then at the end we will publish a book in four uh, languages and then we will distribute all over the world. So, uh, you are also invited if you want, you are invited to do a, a demo as well and then all the demonstrators uh, will be featured uh, on the book as well, okay? Okay, now uh, today I'm going to work on this uh, desk mod uh, module or you call it uh, Bluebell. This material, in fact it is a the, the second or the third generation from the mother plane I brought from uh, Vietnam, in, I think about three years ago, and then uh, from the uh, the A layer, then uh, I try to grow it, and as you can see here, I grow it the kind of plastic tube because uh, from the beginning I try to program this material. Uh, to be a kind of uh, exposed road. So I put on this 
cube with soil inside so that I let all the root growing downward then so that when when they grow well when they all the root uh, develop and then when I open it then it will be kind of uh, exposed root and uh, this is today what uh, I'm going to, to do yeah hari ini saya akan kerjakan root bell atau desmodium atau kita di lokal disebutkan apa? Uh, Saing simbol Tapi ini adalah spesies yang saya buat dari Vietnam kira-kira 3 tahun yang lalu ya uh, Ini adalah generasi ketiga mungkin ya dari induk yang saya bawa dari uh, Vietnam Dan di sini kita sengaja kita tanam di satu pipa yang panjang Dengan saya dengan harapan dia akan tumbuh akar-akar tunjang yang nantinya kalau kita buka itu kita bisa kita buat satu desain yang uh, exposure oke okay? so as a topic today all about design so I'm I'm not only working on the material but I all will, I'm going to also to uh, explain what is all about design yeah. Yeah, uh, all about design. So, I try to explain what is the process in bonsai design when we are uh, confronted to a material. In, a, in my opinion, there are three steps in the bonsai design. One is, I call it the, the preparation. And then secondly, the second step will be incubation. And then the last one is the uh, elaboration. So what is the preparation? The preparation the step is the, the stage where we try to ob observe about the material. What to observe? We try to observe all the design elements. What is design element? Design element in bonsai is starting from the root and then uh, the trunk line, the branches, the, uh, the side branches of the twig, or maybe there are also some fol uh, uh, foliage and then this is all the design element we should observe before we go to the incubation period and then uh, followed by the elaboration so during the observation the most important thing is that we should try to find what is the uniqueness of this material what's the character because they are total, they are different characters of material, and then with the different characters, then we should design in a different way to explore and then to uh, the to to how to call it to design a certain design fit to the material or fit to the character. Uh, the character of the material can be maybe the texture, the bark texture which show a kind of a massive, a masculine, a very uh, uh, ball uh, character and then some kind, some can be uh, feminine, some can, some can be charming and uh, whatever the, the character, we try to observe it okay? and then we try to find what is the uniqueness of the material what we are going to use let's say in this material you can see that what is the uniqueness of this material this material even is very slender very thin but we have a lot of interesting line as you can see a lot of waving lines so this is the uniqueness and then also the exposure this is what uh, we are trying we are trying to uh, how to call it to prepare from the beginning so this exposure the uh, the uh, lot of line here they are all the uniqueness which we are going to explore. So this I call it the preparation of through the observation. Okay. Jadi sesuai dengan topik uh, all about design mengenai design. 
Jadi mengenai desain ini uh, ada uh, saya akan menceritakan beberapa tahapan dalam desain bonsai. Jadi dalam uh, menurut saya itu ada tiga tahapan dalam desain bonsai yang uh, harus kita lewati. Yaitu pertama yaitu kita sebutkan planning. Jadi ada rencana, ada visi. Kemudian kedua adalah incubation atau inkubasi. Adalah ada masa bagaimana kita mencoba me merancang apa yang kita lakukan kemungkinan ketiga adalah elaborasi atau uh, dalam hal itu adalah uh, eksekusi pelaksanaan untuk mengeksplorasi apa yang sudah kita rencanakan nah dalam perencanaan kita uh, lakukan melalui satu observasi observasi apa yang kita observasi kita observasi mengenai karakter pohonnya garis-garis yang ada keunikan dari karakter dari bahan yang ada nah itu kita akan observe kemudian kira-kira apa desain yang bisa kita lakukan visi apa yang bisa kita uh, kita peroleh untuk kemudian langkah berikutnya kita mencoba mengintubasi atau memvisualisasi memvisualisasikan kira-kira apa sih yang bisa kita lakukan apakah itu yang disebutkan style apakah yang disebutkan kira-kira apa uh, satu visi yang bisa kita uh, kita explore dari bahan yang ada tadi kemudian ketiga baru Kemudian elaborasi atau eksplorasi melalui tadi fitur-fitur yang ada di dalam desain dari elemen ini Kemudian visi kita, kemudian kalau sudah kita ada itu Kemudian baru kita mengelaborasi atau mengeksplorasi sesuai dengan karakter ataupun elemen desain yang ada Oke, okay? so this is a... Uh, uh, they are called the, the design the, uh, step uh, I, I would put it this way So from here, I already observe the line, the interesting line, the character, and then from this character, I try to visualize, I try to uh, to incubate, so that I can observe, or I can obtain a vision, what I'm going to do. There are a lot of options. That we can explore from this material. If you see from the from the features, maybe you can tell that oh, okay, I'm going to uh, design a, a exposed road casket. Okay, it is very obvious casket. Well, it can be, or maybe I can turn it upside down and I can do it something uh, uh, out of the box. Uh, but in general. I have a general idea, and then this idea can change during the process. Okay, but from the beginning, at least I have a global uh, uh, idea what I'm going to do. Uh, at this stage, as you are right, I'm going to do a kind of casket. Okay, because uh, the, all the all the features, it is so obscure, obvious that. It's a kind of gasket. Even I can try to do it upside down, but at the moment, maybe I change my mind later on. But at the moment, I'm going to do a gasket. So now I have the vision through the incubation. Now talking about gasket, as you can see that the gasket bonsai in Japan it is totally different with the gasket from China. What is the difference? The difference is in mindset. In Japanese bonsai, everyone learns about the five style. Okay? Formal, informal, semi, uh, 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 slanting, uh, semi gasket, full gasket. They are the five uh, uh, style everyone learns from whatever the books you learn from, or from the teachers. But I have a different approach. Because what I, I think that, in my opinion, if you stick with the design, or you stick with the style, you block your creativity. I don't like, I don't like style. I don't call it style. In my bonsai, I never know, and then I never think about style. This is the mindset I want, I also keep changing keep encouraging people to change. I always tell people, forget about the style. Hi, what's up, what's up, what's up? 
ada ada tamu tamu dari jauh nih. Oh. Dia tak polang nih. Hilang, hilang boleh ya? Hilang nih. Oh, oke, 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 My high school friend. Hai. Ada ada ada. Jiwa jiwa jiwa. Bos sampai ngambak. Wei. Tak wa wa kek win ah ni mun siang ya. Oh, ai ngambak dia choi bo. Ai choi bo. Ada kangko choi ni u. Itu kangko choi ni. Itu kai kiwan chutai em in no. Tama ni ni u dai. Oh. Wa ngambak. Ha. Tak 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 ada duit. Eh, de 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 de. Sorry. This is my friends and my high school friend. This the first time they Let's see my my dear. Okay, let me continue. So, I always suggest people to forget about style because, in my opinion, style block the your creativity. Why? Because when you have a style, when you start to work on your material, you always try to think, you always try to 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 ask yourself, what kind of style I'm going to do. So when you have this kind of mindset, what you are trying to do, if you are limited your uh, your creativity or your mindset in this basic five style, and then you are not trying to find something different. Okay. So I always ask people forget about style. So if we are if we are not talking about style, then what we are talking about? Look. This five style is the basic knowledge guidance that you need to learn, and after that, forget about it. Change your mindset. Instead of style, now you try to think in a different way. So this five style is kind of only a poser, a poser like when you are taking pictures. Either this is your body length, your body. Either you just stand straight forward, or do you can kind of do action. You can you can do whatever the action you want, just very similar like you take pictures, a selfie. Okay, so just use this imagination. When you take a selfie, you are not taking selfie like you are taking a picture for your identity card or the passport passport photo, but you always try kind of action, a mimic. Okay, a mimic that you try to do it. To make it such a way, the composition that it looks nice, it looks interesting, it looks beautiful. That's what you are trying to do. Okay. So the same thing here. But there is one more thing which make the poser, the the position become interesting. That is what I adopt the mindset or the concept from the Chinese punching. That is they call it the nuance. Or in Chinese, they call it eating. Eating means this the the artistic nuance, the poetic nuance of the the nature that you want to convey or you want to tell. This the nuance. So, what is the relation between the nuance and with the the design or the the style? I'll tell you later. Okay, I'll try to explain them in Indonesian also. Jadi waktu kita desain bonsai, yang biasanya kita lakukan tu selalu kita berfikir dalam hal lima gaya. Okay. Nah, ini yang selalu saya minta teman-teman untuk lupakan mengenai gaya, karena semua orang sudah belajar mengenai gaya. Dan selalu saya mengajukan teman-teman untuk kalau sudah belajar lima gaya ini lupakan. Kenapa? Karena menurut saya lima gaya ini dengan satu mindset lima gaya ini dia akan memblokir kreativitas kita. Karena apa? Nanti apapun materialnya, apapun bonsai yang kita lakukan selalu kita mindset kita cuma berpikir pada lima gaya ini. Kemudian pikiran kita tuh sudah tidak bisa keluar lagi dari lima gaya ini. Jadi kita sudah tidak ada kreativitas untuk membuat satu desain yang lebih unik. Jadi lima gaya ini hanya satu dasar, yaitu satu pose. Kayak kita foto. Pose itu kita bisa foto seperti kita bikin pas foto atau kita bikin action seperti waktu kita selfie. Nah selalu saya 
anjurkan teman-teman kalau bikin bonsai desain itu seperti kita mengambil selfie karena kalau selfie kita nggak bikin nggak mungkin kita ambil selfie seperti kita ambil uh, foto bonsai eh foto passport selalu kita ada action ada mimik kemudian dengan mimik itu ada satu gaya nah inilah yang kita mindset yang kita terapkan di dalam bonsai karena dengan dengan demikian kita akan lupa mengenai lima gaya ini tetapi kita lebih meng, uh, meng, berpikir pada ma, pada masalah mimik atau masalah Uh, apa namanya ekspresi. Nah di bonsai juga sama ada ekspresi. So in bonsai there is also expression. This is what we are trying to do. So what kind of expression we, we can do in bonsai? I give you a very uh, unique uh, approach by the Chinese bonsai. Uh, uh, Instead of thinking uh, style, they are as I said they are thinking of nuance. So what is nuance? So the, in the mindset. When they start to uh, uh, to design, they try to uh, imagine the natural drama. So they want to create the drama. Through the drama, then the tree will talk for itself about the chronology of the life circle. And then at the same time, it will create a nuance, an artistic nuance. So what kind of drama? So this kind of approach in Chinese uh, 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 artists, they are thinking at least they are 12 at the moment, what I can think of. They are 12 nuances of nature drama that normally they use in their bonsai design. For instance, uh, in Chinese they call it Ku. Ku means unique, uh, uh, Ku means O. Okay, this is one character, O. You can design the old tree, and then there are also qi, for instance, is uniqueness. I want to create something unique. There are also iya, for instance, iya is charming. I want to create something charming. So in this case, I'm not thinking about the the style, but I'm thinking of the character. I'm thinking of the 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 nuance, okay? They are also uh, you you mean solitude, mysterious. So I can create some kind of design, no matter what is the uh, the design, what is the style, but I want to create the nuance, the mystery, the solitude. And then also there are some uh, they call it quang. เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี
all what I'm talking, what I, I talk about all these nuances, the different nuances, because they're they all, of course, related to the character of the tree. So if you look at this, from the color, it's kind of soft color. And then also the very tiny leaf. And then you know that the bluebell, they have a lot of very nice uh, uh, flowers. I will show you the, 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 the purple flowers, a lot of nice flowers. And then also the lime. So these also already have the, the charming character. Okay? Because it is so slender, so soft. Here we can tell from the line character, the, the, the waving line. The waving line will also suggest a relaxed family. So these three, what I'm going to do, will suggest a kind of family character. So in my opinion, in my mind, uh, I might design some kind of uh, charming uh, trees uh, growing in the in the solitude atmosphere, in the U and then the Ya. Okay, so U is there. I will create a kind of like a tree growing in the in the cliffside in a very mysterious way, but at the same time it give a kind of a pretty feeling. Okay, so uh, let's start. ไม่ใช่ไอ้เนี่ยเยซุนสุนันอ๋อแอปเปิลตัวอย่างฮะตัวตัวนี้ตัวตัวนี้ตัวตัวนี้ตัวตัวนี้ตัวตัวนี้